Hi. I want to take a moment to recognize all the kids that have taken their lives because of bullying at school and on the computers. A few tips and some helpful words. If someone is hurting you verbally from the computer, then you should tell a friend or a grown-up, preferably a grown-up. Um, fleeing is a new fighting. Oh, that was number two. Number three, block and ignore them. Or ignore them. And they will go away. Helpful words. Don't listen to what the bullies say because they will always talk about it. If you want to talk to someone, if you think no one is listening, or knows what you go through, I'm here. And believe me, I am, because I know what you went through. I was never bullied but by a family member. I was always bullied by my mom, and it's not right for them to do that. I will listen and try to help you any way I can, because kids, this is, I'm talking to you kids, this is not the end. It is just the beginning. There is so much more out there than just bullies. Because they will keep on bullying and bullying you. And if you ignore them, then they'll just, they'll either go away or they'll keep on doing it. And if they keep on, sorry, if they keep on doing it, then get a grown up. And just, you, you can't keep it bottled in because it leads to other stuff and very traumatic and emotional emotional stuff. Like I said, there is more out there than just bullies. Like, for instance, the world. There is like so much world out there that you can explore. I mean, I want to go swim with dolphins. That'd be really awesome. And I want to go to Disney World even though I'm 22. No, 20. Am I 21? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm 21. God, that was such a blonde moment. Your family, friends, your family, your friends are like your family. So they're there for you all the time. Siblings or whatever you love. And you never know what will happen next. Like, for me, Um, for me, I, uh, I really didn't do anything to prevent it. I mean, I could have done so much to prevent the bullying to stop. Uh, but like I, like I said, I was bullied by my mom. And what I did... Uh, I almost killed myself. Not very successful, but, um, I thought of my sisters and where, what they, what, what would happen to them if I wasn't here. Where would they be? What would my family think? It's just a whole lot of things running through my mind. And I didn't do it, so I stayed here for my siblings. Um, what I almost did was... I wanted to show the counselors the bruises that she gave me, but oh, at the school I went to, we only we were supposed to wear pants, so we couldn't wear shorts at all. So, yeah, um, it is not right for a parent to physically punch you, slap you, in any way and form in the face. Or leave bruises. It's against the law, actually. But the spanking, yeah. If they use your use their hand, a closed hand, then yeah. But I don't want to get in any of that. That's discipline. But whenever they say they're disciplining, and it turns out to be like fist fighting, that's not discipline. I've had to get in the middle of m my mom's fight with my youngest sister. It wasn't pretty. Actually, threw my mom to the ground a few th 
few times. Not proud of that. Or am I? Anyways, like I said, I am here to listen to what you have to say. And if you plan on killing yourself, don't do it because it not affects your life. It affects everybody else around you and what they felt about you. And it would... Let's just say they listen whenever someone has passed away, taken their own life. And it's not good. No. So, what I did was just grin and bear it, which everybody is different, but like I said, if you want to talk, I'm here for you. So, this is a video for the anti-bullying and stuff. But, thank you for watching. Bye. Stop. No, it didn't.